Hello. Good morning. My name is Bernd Vollmer. I am a teacher on the Nordco College in Enkhuizen, Enkhuizen Zevert School. Very proud to be so. I was a uh, young mechanic, mechanic on a uh, on cargo vessels to start with, and um, I didn't enjoy that at all. So by some coincidence, I ended up as a uh, mechanic on uh, an engineer on a uh, topsail schooner. They needed somebody to fix their engines because the ship hadn't been moving for a year and a half or so. And um, so I did. And then the guy who was a private owner with his family, he said, uh, we're going to the Caribbean. Would you like to join us? Which, of course, is a stupid question because I instantly said yes without even thinking. And that was the beginning of my sailing career and slowly, slowly moved through the world and moved myself through uh, uh, from from engineer to uh, to a decky and then uh, enjoy that a lot. And um, because, of course, I did have some nautical education, I uh, quite fast could become a uh, watch leader. And then somebody told me, uh, you need to go to the nautical college uh, in Enkhuizen because that's the school to be for you. And I, I thought, what would I need to go to school for? Already been to school, uh, no, no use for that. And uh, go talk with the uh, with the uh, founder of the school, Hank Waver. He's a nice guy, and uh, he will he will tell you. So uh, I did. I went over here, and I enjoyed it from the first second. Enjoyed Hank. I enjoyed the whole atmosphere, and um, I thought this this is a good place to be. So I did my second year the Grote Zeilvaart. So from 96 onwards, I was captain on, on different sailing ships, sailed through the world and um, different sailing areas from way up north in Canada to uh, Antarctica, to South America, South Pacific, and um, a couple of crossings over the oceans, and then started uh, teaching nautical not instruments in 2001. So uh, now I'm teaching uh, the, the Marcom course, TMDSS, the, the radio communication, nautical instruments and marine uh, maneuvering. Um, started off the, on the Unicorn, that was this top so schooner uh, for the private owner. From the Unicorn I moved to a different private yachts in the Caribbean, smaller ones, and then quite soon to the Mary Harrigan a uh, Chesapeake Bay schooner uh, from America, uh, went to Venezuela with the guy and did a refit on it and uh, back to the Caribbean ended up on the Swan van Makkum, which is a uh, uh, brigantine 61 meters with a Dutch nationality at that moment. My first captain job was on Elisabeth Lau, uh, which is a topsail schooner currently run in the Seychelles, 35, 38 meter topsail schooner. And then I moved on to the CERN Larsen in the um, uh, South Pacific, New Zealand. Um, was chief mate on there for a year and a half, um, sailing the entire South Pacific, Australia, New Zealand. And then I went to Atlantis. Atlantis was an ocean crossing to start with as a brigantine. From there I moved on back on Unicorn, uh, which was the private ship before, but now was in Canadian hands and uh, doing charter work in the Great Lakes in Canada. Was captain on the Unicorn for a season uh, up in the Great Lakes. And then I went to Oosterschelde. Oosterschelde was my last permanent job. I was uh, permanent captain on Oosterschelde for uh, quite a long time. and. Um, from 2001, when I started at school here, I became a freelance captain, and since then I've done. Uh, I continued on our shelter, still do, and a lot of other different uh, sailing ships. One of them was Hank Waver, the the founder of this school. Uh, he was um, he was quite a peculiar guy. He was very inspiring for everybody, both in teaching as well as in the practical sense of of, of things. And um, the, the owner of the Swan van Makkum, Willem Slichting, was a very uh, a, a huge yeah, godfather to say uh, for me. He inspired me uh, in many, many ways. Then there was a guy in Greece who had a charter company. That was before I even started the commercial shipping. I was working as a uh, skipper on charter ships. And the guy who ran that company also uh, was one of my godfathers. Yeah, yeah there's been a few. <laughs> an important factor in, in all my behavior, I could say, uh, both eating as well as living, as well as transport. I uh, try to be uh, as careful as possible with all. So uh, less heating, smaller houses, uh, better insulation, less transport. I, 
I try not to fly. Of course, if I'm going to ships uh, for my work, I need to fly every now and then. But I try to uh, to take the bus and train in Europe rather than a plane. But well, I must admit, during my sailing, um, of course, you see a lot of garbage. And even in South Pacific, I went to remote islands that never got visited by, by any ships, not commercial shipping or anything, and still finding um, uh, bits and pieces of, of plastic and everything else. Um, that quite upset me. Be responsible. And I mean that in the broad sense of, uh, of things. So um, both your knowledge that you gained here, try to use that brain you have and the knowledge you got here from all the different subjects and try to use it uh, all the time and never get too satisfactory with yourself. Bye-bye.